Initially, he started limping in his back legs, took him to the vet and they indicated that it may be some arthritis. And we got him going on some joint medications for arthritis and he ended up developing a mass in his front left leg. And we took him in for further evaluations and further tests and it turns out that he had osteosarcoma, which is a very aggressive form of bone cancer that resides in the joints and eventually spreads into the lungs. And the typical treatment for this is, of course, amputation of the affected leg, combined with chemotherapy, because this form of cancer ends up spreading to the lungs, which can end up being fatal within a few months. This dog here is, <laughs> he's been with me for over a third of my life. And he's been with me for every happy moment, as well as every sad moment. And he's really not even just like a son to me, he's like my best friend. And so for me to be able to offer him a happier last year as opposed to a you know pain-filled year was really the only thing that I wanted for him. I wanted to be able to see his smile. I wanted to be able to see him walk and enjoy life without having to be in pain. And so when I figured out exactly how much it was going to be, it was a very challenging thing because it wasn't something that I would have necessarily been able to handle alone. And the thought of losing him at that time was just something I couldn't even, couldn't even imagine. And so going through these processes and finding people who are able to assist me like Skyla and with the community that we've been able to reach with our GoFundMe campaign has turned this just terrible, terrible experience into something that's not only made me appreciate him more, if that's even possible, but to allow me to spend another happy year or maybe more with him. And so I'm just unbelievably grateful and just to, for me to be able to look at him right now is just amazing. And just seeing all of the love he gets from, of course, all of his friends and family, but even people who just kind of step in and show love because they see what we're going through, even people that, you know, might, might not even have the means and they're still reaching out and they're still doing everything they can to love and support him. There's been so many times in, in his life that we've looked at him and said that I couldn't ever imagine having a more perfect dog. He's been just, like, it's inconceivable how, how polite he is and how calm and well-mannered and good with everybody, all different dogs, all different people. He's, he's just a big love bug. And yeah, to have this extra time with him is just invaluable. And to just see him happy and see him proceeding with his life, it's, it's pure magic. And he's so expressive and he's more like a human than a dog. It lets you know exactly how he's feeling and he's never met a human that he doesn't like. He's our baby boy.